Hey everybody, and welcome back to Fire's Frontier. As you can see, we're not at the base currently. I've done some exploring off camera. I've set up, I've set up another portal right here. We're about negative 400 out on, on the x-axis, about 1700 out on the y-axis. And oh man, look what I found. <laughs> I am so excited guys. Today, in today's episode, we will be taking on an ocean monument. I think it's about time. We, we took one of these on. I'm not going to be making a guardian farm probably anytime soon, but I at least want to take this thing on, get some sponges, get this thing cleared out, and maybe establish a border. That way we have some sort of start uh, because these things are huge undertakings. Um, so I don't know if I want to start it yet, but we'll at least have the ocean monument done and out of the way, which will all be good. I have buckets of milk on me for the, I believe it's the mining fatigue. I've got some golden apples, some potions of instant health, and some potions of regen. I was going to get some strength potions as well, but I think these potions will be a lot more helpful. And with all the mining fatigue stuff and the, the buckets of milk, I think not having strength will be a good thing because it'll, it'll just get wasted. So uh, I'm ready, guys. I'm ready to take this thing on. Hopefully, you guys will enjoy today's episode because this is this is what we're doing today. And uh, I guess let's just get started. And I had totally forgotten about night vision and uh, there we go, night vision and water breathing. So we're gonna drink those now and put the milk on our hot bar. I'm only gonna use the milk whenever we need to dig through to a room. So hopefully that won't be too often. But yeah, we should have some water breathing for eight minutes, uh, some night vision for eight minutes. And hopefully that'll be enough. And I have three. There's the mining fatigue. I should have enough. Um, I have three of them. So that should be enough for 24 minutes, which should be enough to, to take this thing down. I've taken these things down before. They're not all that difficult, especially when you have full diamond armor that has all of the all of the enchantments on it. All the new enchantments, that is. Oh, Elder Guardian. Oh, I can't get in there. Okay. Um, Can we go around this way? Is he... He's in there somewhere. I can't mine through it, can I? That's cool. That's fine. Where do we go up? Right here. Around here. Okay. There is a dead end here. That's... Oh, no. There's stuff over here. Move, Guardian. Thank you. He's got to be over here, isn't he? I want to say he is. Yeah, there he is. There you are. Ooh. You guys hurt. You guys hurt. You guys hurt. Okay. Breathe. Go back to him. Let's get this going. These, like I said, these guys aren't terribly difficult. It's just you gotta be you gotta be careful. You gotta be a little bit careful of your health. There we go. We got ourselves a nice little sponge. Perfect. I'm I'm getting myself some prismarine shards. I actually do need you guys. Come here. Come here. There we go. All right, that should be good. We got one of those guys down. I think we can mine through that at some point. There might be something in the middle there. We'll find out after the mining fatigue has gone away. Anything on this side? So there are three Elder Guardians. For those of you guys who don't know, there should be three Elder Guardians. One in the center, two on the sides, I believe. So if we head this way, there is literally nothing in here. Okay. We might have to mine through some blocks because I got the guy that's over here, I believe. Yeah, I got the guy that's over there. So we need to head into the main room now. The, the gold blocks are in the center. We're not going to go to that just yet. There's nothing here. Um, we'll get that afterwards. That's pretty easy to get afterwards once we start draining stuff and go room by room. Usually what I do after I'm done with these places is I go room by room and start draining all the, all the things. So that's something that I plan on doing. There's nothing in here. All right, that's cool. There's nothing in here. All right, that's cool. Where? Oh, puffer fish. I'm poisoned. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Jeez Louise. All right, what is over here? Nothing. It's one of those guys. You can hit me, it's fine. Don't really care. All right, there's another one. That is the second one. And the third one, it should be in the middle somewhere. There we go. Got this nice little pillar right here as well. Got him. Perfect, got the sponge as well. Fantastic. And there should be a middle route somewhere. We got the two on the edges, it looks like. There should be a middle room at the very top of the of the ocean monuments. We gotta find that now, if I can find it. <laughs> this might take a little bit because we gotta find the middle of the ocean monument and make sure that we have a pathway up to the middle. So yeah, uh, down here, there's nothing. Oh, is it right here? Yeah, this is it. This is definitely it. Yep. Should have known that. <laughs>
and he's dead. Awesome. So, guys, in a matter of about five minutes, we've defeated the Ocean Monument. Uh, now all that's left to do is to start draining some stuff and get started uh, getting rid of some of these guardians as well. Getting the block in the middle. My mining fatigue should wear off at some point. Yeah, it has another 23 seconds. Then it'll wear off and we can actually go and get the gold blocks. Um, but yeah, that was fairly straightforward. I think what really helped in this fight was having all the different protections on my gear because I, I just did that recently. I have all... I have fire protection four, blast, blast protection four, and protection four. Um, plus, I have the water breathing and the night vision potions, which makes things not only easy for you guys to see, but also easy, easy for me to breathe. Uh, and I don't really have to worry about the guardians because my armor is so good. So uh, we that, that helped a lot. Helped quite a bit. Okay, I don't get... Stop, stop, stop. I'm going to die. Right, can we get these? Yes. All oh, the loot. There's only eight? It's really only eight. I thought it was nine. That's okay. Actually, no, it would have been would have been twenty seven, I think. That's okay. <laughs> we head down through here. This should take us out in the front again. Yep, take us out in the front, and we are all good to go. We have finished the raid on this. I don't think there's a sponge room though. We can I can kind of poke my head around actually, because I actually forgot about the sponge room. I can poke my head around and see if we get ourselves a sponge room anywhere, because that'd be really useful if we could. But I don't know if there is one. I have gone unlucky before with ocean monuments and not gotten a sponge room. They can be anywhere from like zero to two, I think, or something like that. So we'll have to, I'll just have to poke around and see if I can find one. I'll go ahead and do that, guys. Uh, and if I find one, I'll bring you guys back. If not, I'll show you guys uh, some progress that I'll be getting done with the outside of this thing. Hopefully, at some point, I will be able to st establish a perimeter and get things rolling. And unfortunately, there was no sponge room. I looked all over the place, couldn't find one. So I'm just going to assume we, don't, we didn't get one. We might have one somewhere, but I just couldn't find it. I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to assume that we don't have one. So instead of doing that, I sat here and I've started clearing out rooms inside of the ocean monument. I have a lot of this first floor sort of cleaned out. The entrance is right here to, to the ocean monument. So I have a good amount of this first floor cleaned out. I've made holes into, into, into different rooms so I can get to every single room. Uh, I haven't cleared out the, towards the back yet, but all these rooms are pretty much cleared out. A lot of it anyways. Um, some of the stuff up here, a lot of the second floor stuff hasn't been cleared out yet, but that's because a lot of that stuff's a, a little more difficult to get to. <laughs> it's a lot easier just to do the ground floor stuff and just go from room to room there. So I will get to it. It'll take a little bit of time, and this will be an ongoing process. I plan to probably stream a lot of this stuff, just so that it it's really boring stuff, so that way you guys don't have to watch it. <laughs> and that way I still, I'm still able to share the experience with you guys, but not have it be completely boring. So I'm going to go ahead and put all my sand away, and I think that's all we're going to do around here for the Ocean Monument for today. I cooked up the sponges, used them a little bit, not a whole lot. Like I said, we only have three, so they're not that helpful, to be honest. I've tried going out and looking for an ocean monument as well, another one to raid, but I haven't found one, so I'm just going to end off our ocean monument stuff for today and head back to the main base and see what else we need to do over there. I'll be honest, I'm still a little dis disappointed about the sponges. I really wish I could have had some more. <laughs> Anyways guys, we're back here at the base, and I finally decided where we're going to put the mending villager that we got, um, I guess in the last episode. I'm thinking we're going to put this guy over here. Namely, and I think we're gonna have a little bit of a path up here. Namely because he's right next to the portal. I, wow, okay. <laughs> he's right next to the portal right here. Uh, pretty easy to access. We don't have to go far into a base to access his mining villager. If we're anywhere else, we can just come through the portal. And the guy I'm thinking will be right here. I want to put him. So we can just kind of go like this. We can, we can talk to him. And I'll probably want to put the guy's uh, workstation right there so not the coziest of places i guess <laughs> but it still works and i think that's the plan now so we're gonna go ahead and go grab this mending villager i think i'm gonna need some rails probably i mean we could probably put them in a boat but i don't think, I don't think a boat would work too well so we're, i'm gonna go get myself a minecart we're gonna see if we can ra rail this guy or transport this guy over over to that place obviously i'll need to i'll be i'll need a baby zombie proof it because that area over there isn't isn't very lit up so i'll have to baby zombie proof and that's pretty easy usually just a trap door works hopefully maybe i'm really hoping that hasn't changed at all uh, but if we go ahead and grab ourselves a, a few things we should be good 
I'm also thinking, do you think the villagers are gonna be able to to refresh his trades if he's in a minecart? Because I want to keep him in the minecart if I can. Alright, let's do that. Get, get, really? Get in the minecart, dude. Come on. Let's go ahead and grab his workstation. Hopefully his trades don't reset. Nope, we're good. So I guess it has, I'm pretty sure he still needs a workstation. Yeah, there we go. Pretty sure the guy still needs a workstation in order to, um, oh, what do you call it? <laughs> in order to refresh his trades. All right, we'll, we'll double check that. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh, we'll go this way now. We'll go this way now. Like this, like this. We can't do that. <laughs> Might just have to push this guy down the hill here. All right, let's 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 try to get this guy on this minecart or on this minecart rail track. Now that we have it sort of in place, we can pick up the rails as we go and sort of roll with it. You get it? Roll with it. Minecarts roll. <laughs> okay. I'm funny, I know. Come on, buddy. On the track you go. There you go. Now, this is going to be a little difficult without powered rails. But we'll be okay. Move up. Move up. Move up. I'm right here so you can't come back. Move up. Thank you. And we want this guy to go up here. So I'm going to have to make a temporary way up, I think. And now that that is complete, we'll grab you and go to this rail. Come on, buddy. Get on here. Come on. Let's go. Up you go. Up you go. Come on, buddy. Up you go. Up you go, villager. Go. 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 There we go. I love the fact that you can actually push him as well. So I don't have to worry about like actually having to push him up or him falling back down. There we go. In you go. In you go. All right. We actually, I don't think he's gonna, uh oh, I don't, we put him there. Oh, I accidentally hit him. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Could you, uh, could you come this way a little bit? I want to put your workstation down. Can you come over here, please? Uh, okay, I guess that doesn't work. I want to put his workstation down over here. Without. Oh, sorry, sorry, dude. Sorry, no. He's gone. We lost him, guys. We lost him. I wish you could lead these guys. That'd be so cool. Finally, go, 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 no, 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 this way, this way, this way, no, 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 get in there, come on, come on, guy, yes, oh, thank goodness, okay, going to go this way, okay, we're good now, oh, you know what? No 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 And now he's gone. Of course he's gone. Come back down. Okay, you're in. Now here's the plan. Here is the plan, Mr. Villager. You are going to behave. Okay, you're going to sit here. Actually, we're going to keep him in the minecart and we're going to see what happens. If his trades refresh, <gasps> no, went down the nine emeralds because I punched him two times. <laughs> no, it's okay. We'll, we'll trade with the guy. We'll get our, we'll get our, our reputation back up. It'll be okay. Yeah, I'll leave in the minecart for now. If that interferes with the, the st tool station thingy that's there. Which, I don't know if it will, but if it does, I will try my best to get rid of the minecart. If it doesn't, which I really hope it doesn't, then we should be all good. So, I'll leave him there for now. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead, guys, and trade with him a little bit. Try to get his trades back down. That was almost a disaster. I'm going to try to get his, tra his mending trade back down to four. I didn't realize that punching him twice would, would do that sort of destruction. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to get his mending trade down to four emeralds again. And uh, I'll bring you guys back when I made a little bit of progress. All right, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to get this guy's mending trade back up to four 
emeralds, unfortunately. He's kind of stuck at nine, and his trades aren't refreshing. I did get him out of the minecart, though, so luckily we don't have to deal with that anymore. But I'll still play around with him and see if we can get that trade down. But the other thing I want to show you guys real quick is that I've done some end rating in between the last clip and this one. And we now have six more pairs of elytra and all of these shulker boxes left to color to obviously they won't all fit in my ender chest but we have a lot more shulker boxes to work with now so thankfully i won't have to worry about shulker boxes anytime soon but guys there's one last thing i want to do in today's episode um i want to head over to the end and there's something over there that we need to take care of or at least get started for today and here we go this is the i guess the beginning of the end tunnel out here i realized afterwards that this sort of looks like a stronghold I don't know if I mentioned that last episode, but this kind of looks like a stronghold with all these block variants. So it kind of fits, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of cool. You see this enderman doesn't pass the carpets here. I've been trying to extend the carpets as much as I can. Obviously, under underneath of here are string. That way the enderman can, I guess, teleport on top of these. I'm keeping the leaves for now because enderman can't spawn on here. But like I said, I'll gradually bring this out the further I go. But this is the sort of design I've been going with. I've been sort of copying the design that we have in here. Um, and sort of bring it out here with these huge windows. I think the windows will be pretty cool to have. Uh, we have obviously the the polished andesite, the cracked stone brick, the stone brick, the mossy stone brick, and the stone as well. I'm not really sure what to do with this up here yet. Originally, I wanted to hang some lanterns from here because obviously we need some sort of lighting in here. So I was going to hang some lanterns, but the fences look a little weird here. So I'm not entirely certain what I'm going to do with that, but it's coming along coming along i'm going to keep the same theme of carpet as well with the purple on the sides and the white down the middle all the way down to the end and we'll probably have some sort of water elevator uh, a water drop and a, a bubble column at the end because that's the two easiest things to do basically uh, for transportation vertically but guys that i think is going to wrap up our stuff for today Obviously, this little area right here, I'm going to continue to work on off camera, extend it outwards, and obviously I'll give you guys some some uh, up progress updates on it as I get more stuff done, but most of that stuff should be done off camera, as you can see the, the sort of design that we're going for it, and I think it'll look good in the end. Obviously, you're not going to see all the carpets on top, so those aren't a big issue uh, looking out, so hopefully it'll all turn out the way I want it to. But ladies and gentlemen, like I said, that's going to wrap up today's episode. Let me head back to the main base. And I will show you all the comment that I picked out for today. And today's comment is from Zay who said, like the farm, even though we, we've seen it on stream. And sorry about the stream at the end. Told you it wasn't working. Yeah, well, apparently uh, Twitch decided to, the Twitch chat, chat at least, decided to go down. So for a solid 30 minutes, I thought I was just talking to nobody. But apparently there were people watching. So that was cool. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think the farm design, if you guys didn't see it, it that was Nembomb's design that we used last episode for the Enderman farm. And I'm really, really, really happy with the Enderman farm design. Um, it's gonna be, it's already worked wonders for us. I already have, I don't know if I showed you guys, but I got all the protections on my armor. I think I showed you guys this. I got all the protect, all the protections and stuff on my armor. So I'm really, oh, and I got um, projectile protection on these, on these legs as well. I just added those recently. So I'm really, really happy with all that. Obviously when, whenever we update to 1.14.3, all those protections, won't, you won't be able to do that in 1.14.3, but you could still, if you do it before then, you can, I guess, port them over to 1.14.3. They'll allow you to still have them. So um, that's why I did all that stuff now. But yep, super happy, happy with the farm design. We'll be using it a lot in the future. Once we have that tunnel design done, it'll be uh, a lot easier to get there without Enderman ha bothering us. For some reason, the Enderman still get angry at me. I, I don't really know why. Uh, I assume it's a new mechanic. That I just don't know about. So, uh, other than that, farm farm works great, and I'm really happy with it. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap things up for today. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Fire's Frontier. If you did enjoy the video, go ahead, smash a like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're new and or are not already subscribed. But, anyways, guys, take care, and I'll see you later.